This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Links in the description below. Hey, uh, back on deck on my fly. Back. Uh, really on, really on my. Uh, really on. Pay some respect to my mindset. Hey, uh, Hair blowing smoke, catch a contact. This is really, truly the greatest show I've ever seen in my life, okay? And I'm sure you will agree with me. Someone just kicked the cone. <laughs> he just kicked the traffic cone. Ooh, that's a nice chord. Nice seventh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Ah, it's good to have brass flexes on this channel again. <laughs> Even though this is a percussion channel. This is truly art. Okay, believe me, it's truly art. Oh! Truly incredible. Good morning and welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam. It's time for yet another Let's Watch! -a. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Robert Utomo, Bradley Crowley, Ryan Carlisle, Sung Shun Han, Scott Rader, Greg Harris, Dean P. Newberger, Jay Carroll, Gilliland. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is Matthew Mudgett. Thank you so much for joining the studio artist team. If you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Adam Tan or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. Hope you've been well, hope you've been staying safe. Today, we're gonna to be checking out some marching content. But if you're new to the channel, my name is Adam. I make videos about percussion. I write percussion music, and we watch a lot of videos on this segment called Let's Watch. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button below to keep off my uploads as I upload every single week. And hit that notification bell to know whenever I upload a new episode. Oh. Anyway, if you haven't already joined our Discord server at adamsandpercussion.com forward slash Discord, it's open to all people by the way you don't even have to be a musician it's literally just a discord for all kinds of people who are interested in percussion or even just interested in chatting it's a really fun place and all of today's submissions are coming from this discord server so first submission from marco the pianist hello i'm marco i'll be submitting madison scouts 2013 cause of brothers 75 years of survival that is a very long title. <laughs> this show is a military theme show about four brothers who go into war with only one of them surviving in the end. It was their 75th anniversary show and it's one of my favorite all-time favorite shows. The percussion section is absolutely phenomenal, the color guard is on point, and the brass is immensely powerful. Brass flex. The show ends with the chorus singing and playing their chorus song You Will Never Walk Alone along with alumni and the audience. It's hands down one of the most emotional closes in DCR history. I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it but have tissues ready. Okay, okay, let's watch. By the way, I'm using my phone because my laptop got stolen two weeks ago. So until I get my new laptop, I'm literally just going to be... I'm not using this for selfies, okay? <laughs> okay, here's the video and as we can see, this is definitely military themed. M Y N W A Madison, you never walk alone, I guess. Yeah, that's an expression I haven't heard in a long time since um Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool FC. Okay, let's watch. Ooh, that is some big shoulder energy. I wanna have shoulders like that. <laughs> that is such I've forgotten how big DCI sections are. This is awesome. Man, how did their voices project so far? That's really strong projection. Oof, look at those turns. Seventy-five years is a very long time to be active, especially in this day and age. That's awesome. Someone just kicked the cone. <laughs> he just kicked the traffic cone. All right, this is a very, very intimidating line and they're just holding it. Let's go, come on, let's go. On the starting line, oh, the this core of brothers celebrating their 75th anniversary. Please welcome this two time DCI world champion representing Explorer Troop 600 from Madison, Wisconsin, the Madison Scouts. Madison Scouts. Let's go. All right. Following the military theme still, let's go, let's go. I'm expecting big brass flexes or a section like that. Nice warm brass chorale to get us started. 
Madison Scouts, take the field for competition. Do they normally say take the field to competition for everyone, or is that just part of the show? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, that sudden crescendo. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. Ooh, nice formation. Nice and simple front ensemble part there. What? What is... Oh, okay. I thought it was a field charge at first. <laughs> My bad. That's a very big brass flex. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice chord. Nice seventh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm enjoying chord changes too much. Okay, okay. Yep. Uh huh. Big B flat chord. Oh, 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 the sudden race in volume. Let's go, let's go. Ah, it's good to have brass flexes on this channel again. <laughs> even though this is a percussion channel. Oh, we've even got a makeshift helicopter. That's intense. Oh, front ensemble. Let's go, let's go. Get those mallet rests. Let's go. Ah, oh, yes. So the snare drum is supposed to mimic the helicopters, I'm guessing. Ooh, 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 the color guard though, ooh. Oh, this is so cool. Wow, wow, wow. Can I just say those snare, those snare rolls are just crisp. Ooh, 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 battery just, ooh. Very secure. Yeah, the helicopter theme's really <laughs> carrying on, okay. Low brass. Glock runs at the bottom. Okay, yeah. Yeah, ooh! <laughs> you got me. You got me on that one. I wasn't expecting such a short stab there. See, so, the scales in the, in the mallet rides actually seem purposeful. They're not just like random scales, which is nice. And they add texture and like thickness. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this formation. What is that? I'm sure I'm missing heaps of references here. <laughs> this is this bad. But I'm trying my best. Oh. oh what is that from? Another reference that I'm completely lost on. <laughs> Very ominous, yeah. The military thing is very ominous. Let's go. Uh huh, uh huh. Let's go. And now we swap guns. Ooh, that chord, that chord. You know what that reminds me of? Starcraft soundtrack. Oh, oh. So ominous, I love it. Yeah, StarCraft 1 soundtrack. Tehran raiding the space installations. Oh, oh, yes, the big line. Here we go. Oh, and they become a helicopter. And then they whisk away. Interesting transition. Okay, this must be the sad part. I'm waiting for the tears. <laughs> Solo brass. Oh, look at that. Look at that walk on. Woof. That is smooth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those accents, though. Assuming that's like machine guns. 
Ah, uh, yep, they are weapons. There you go. Trumpets are now guns. That is, uh, <laughs> I never thought I would see trumpets being used as guns. Okay. Okay, now we're playing some Sejourné in the front ensemble. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting, at least it's, it's not just straight major scales. Ooh, those octave parts sound very difficult. Whoever's playing that is good. Hey! Wow, look how fast they're moving. What? Walking on snare drums? Really? <laughs> Walking on snare drums? That is completely new to me as well. Okay. For a second I thought the field judge was going to join him and just use it as a staircase as well. Oh, 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 so clean. Something's happening. Wow, that was very clean, very crisp. Very together. Ominous brass is back. Woo! Okay. Another gun spin. I think this is the first time where the guns used by the color guard actually make more sense. <laughs> the, the definition of them is very broad now. Oh, what is that? Oh, is that shafts on bars? That sounds really nice. Interesting texture. Ooh, I like that descending scarab. Oh, little bit of golden eye style chord there. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Oi! Ooh. This, these are some strong themes. Uh oh. Is this the sad part? It must be. Oh, they really do actually just start singing. They actually sound really good too, <laughs> as singers. I oh, respect. Ah, oh, people are standing as well, out of respect, that's interesting. So why is the drum major facing backwards? Let me know in the comments below. It's because the audience is being conducted by it. Ah, and that seamless transition into the brass. Very nice. Not quite tear inducing for me, but but it's very nice. Yeah. Wow, that drum major. That's awesome. Carrying him off. And we got the line, the brass line. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. No, this part. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. That's. Woo! 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 I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Oh. Oh. Part of me wishes that went for a little bit longer, but yeah, wow. Beef 
flat. Oh, that's awesome. That's such a yeah. That's that does go real deep. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Chris Connick, Dan Peterson, and Jim Mason, the Madison Scouts! Woo! What a, what a heavy, heavy ending. I really love that they used that brass line at the end there. That was awesome. Emotions. Okay, we've seen some tear joking moments on this show. This one wasn't too bad. Yeah, some very intense themes for a DCR show. I mean, like with simulated gunshots, like the trumpets being used as rifles and stuff. That is very uh, different. I, I don't think I've seen a show like that before on this channel. So very interesting to see how more dark and serious themes can be portrayed through the lens of drum corps. I think that's yeah, really fascinating. I've never seen anything like it. I'm a percussionist, but brass flexes are just something else. You know, when they're done like that with like the straight line, they walk slowly towards the audience. I'm like, okay, okay, you got me. You don't even need to take me out to dinner anymore. <laughs> awesome show. And to be able to see like the raw emotion of performers, especially the ones who were carrying the body, I think that was really, really spot on. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of that performance, because that was... <laughs> pretty intense. <laughs> and if you're enjoying the video so far, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. See, I always learn a lot of new things from these videos that you guys send me because like I said, in Australia, we don't really have drum corps and we really don't have the scale to put on stuff like that. All these productions in action is just really, really exciting for me. And you too can learn new things with the help of our sponsor because today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creators and it's basically a place where you can learn new things, follow your passions and basically get lost in the world of learning. Class topics range from creative fields like graphic design, photography, illustration, business fields like marketing, entrepreneurship, leadership, and personal life and productivity things like fitness and even cooking. And these classes suit all kinds of experience levels ranging from beginner to advanced and also all kinds of time commitments. So some of the classes are only 30 minutes long, very short. Some of the classes are well over an hour and lots of projects that you can try. So there's something for everyone. So one of the classes that I've been checking out, which is brand new for 2021, is actually from one of my favorite YouTube content creators, MKBHD, otherwise known as Marquez Brownlee. YouTube success, script, shoot, and edit with MKBHD is just awesome for anybody who's trying to get into YouTube stuff because he's MKBHD, like he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> one of the parts I really enjoyed of this course is the section where he was talking about script writing and planning your videos because I'm really bad at planning stuff. <laughs> like whenever I come up with video ideas, it's kind of just like, okay, let's do this. All Skillshare classes are ad-free and the annual membership costs less than $10 a month which is quite affordable but actually thanks to Skillshare we can do you one better if you are one of the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description you can get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership so if you want to start learning new things go ahead and sign up right now Okay, the next submission we're gonna watch is actually quite hilarious. And I'm gonna preface this by saying I already know what's gonna happen in this, but I haven't watched it for a long time. And I'm sure a lot of the people watching this do not know what this submission is. So if you're watching this and you don't know what it is, please watch it, okay? <laughs> it is Rhythm X 2020, a crashy bongo. This has been submitted a few times on the Discord, but I'm actually just going to choose the one that doesn't give away what it is. So flat 2 4 says, this is Rhythm X 2020's one-time shirt entitled a crashy Bongo, it will go down in history as one of the most expressive and beautiful WGI performances to take place. I won't say anything. Let's watch. Okay, here's the video and <laughs> I can't wait to watch this. This is so epic. Okay, this is really truly the greatest show I've ever seen in my life. Okay, and I'm sure you will agree with me. Let's go. Crashy Bongo. <laughs> it's it's really truly the highlight of the performance is the symbol section um and there's also this unique factor of having bongos um which i think is a real artistic touch to to the show the visuals are on point yeah, all black bongos Hey, it's not a joke, man. Playing the bongos is, is a serious skill. All right, marked bongos. Let's go. 
This is truly art. Okay, believe me, it's truly art. Performing their very special performance for one time only of Crashy Bongo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Nice, beautiful. It's the best thing ever. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Opening roll. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Truly incredible. Incredible. Like, did you guys, did you guys see that symbol crash? You see how precise it was just like, whoosh. just so much energy involved in that. Oh, that bongo roll was just exquisite. Like, honestly, the best warm bongo roll ever. It felt, it felt like I was being filled with emotions when I heard that cascade of single stroke roll on the bongo. And you know what they say, right? Short and sweet, right? Quality over quantity. And you know what? We're just going to watch it again. Right down to the symbols around the neck of the guy at the back. That is just like really fantastic decoration. Leaving the bongo case on the stage as well. That's a deliberate move, you know, to have some asymmetry in the stage layout. Ah, you see that opening kit with that intent, raising the hand and straight down, swelling the roll. Oh, beautiful. And with the cleanest crash you've ever heard in your life. This is the greatest thing you've ever heard. <laughs> Can't do this anymore. Okay, so obviously I know why they only had symbols there. Uh, I'm gonna read you the submission from Devon, which explains it really well. This is Rhythm X's one-time only production entitled A Crashy Bongo. The story behind this one-time show is wild. What basically happened was X's equipment truck broke down and the only things the members had with them was the vinyl floor, the marching symbols, and a set of bongos. They couldn't perform to their full potential, but they had to go somewhere. They got a 30 point penalty for being under the time limit, but they regained a spot in finals after they performed for real when the truck showed up. So I'm really glad that they didn't get penalized fully. I'm glad the truck finally showed up, but also like, I don't even know if I'm joking anymore. It's like, you know, when you watch those videos where the person wears the same shirt every day for three years, and then the one time that they wear like a different shirt, like even if it's just a different color, everyone goes, wow, that is an incredible outfit. You look so great. I think this is literally the same thing. This is probably the only time in history that there's been like a two minute show. <laughs> okay, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of a crashy bongo. I hope the title and thumbnail of this video actually fooled people into watching this show because it is just exceptional and if you enjoyed today's video please give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it so much and if you haven't already hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads and if you haven't joined the discord server it's at askpercussion.com forward slash discord and of course once again don't forget to check out the offer from skillshare in the description down below as well thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys next week for another episode of the studio good night